What is up guys? So I'm back again to share some uh, Turbo Graphics uh, memorabilia with you guys. Um, this is something that I was able to uh, get from a uh, fellow forum member uh, before I show you what they are. Um, basically, um, uh, a buddy of mine uh, was uh, running a uh, fanzine back in the day called Duo Dimensions. Uh, for you youngins out there who don't know what fanzines are, is uh, you know fans of you know either a band or or a type of music or a video game console would basically uh, put together their own like little magazines and stuff like that. Um, reviewing albums or games and so on and so forth and you'd you know share these with your you know buddies pen pals and so on and so forth and um, so this uh, gentleman had his own called Duo Dimensions which is pretty cool and basically just you know it's just, just a small little you know like five six page you know printout of uh, you know games he reviewed and stuff like that and it's actually pretty cool it's pretty neat but anyways um he had reached out to uh, people over at TTI, which was the company that took over for NEC when NEC decided to get out of the, you know, the business and hand everything off over to TTI. <clears throat> Basically, TTI ended up releasing the Duo and, you know, all that secondary turbo stuff uh, around 92 to about 94. And basically reached out and said, uh, you know, I guess asked if he, they had any promo stuff or, or screen grabs uh, that they can provide. And they sent him over some artwork direct from the, uh, I guess, the graphic department over at uh, TTI, um, which is pretty cool. And those are actually used in here. Uh, now, those prints that I'm going to show you right now are not just used here, but normally they would be used on stuff like this. Hopefully you guys can see that. This is a uh, Lords of Thunder print ad. Um, basically hyping up the game. There's actually a pretty neat video on YouTube if you guys want to look it up. I'll see if I can put a link down below where they're talking about uh, promoting this game and they're showing storyboards and stuff of the, of the game or the, the advertisements. And they're, they're showing kids like, you know, what would it take for them to get hyped up over this and stuff like that. But as you can see, there's different screen grabs here. Kind of like you see in other video game related, uh, you know, magazines and stuff like that. But these weren't that, that, that easy to get back in the day. You couldn't just pause the game and then take a picture. Um, so some companies would use like uh, screen grabbers. Um, um, some of you guys might have heard of the Nintendo, uh, I think it's called the Famicom Titler. Um, which a lot of companies would use to uh, get screen grabs. Uh, I've actually run across some old games, like NES games. Where you look at the uh, the back of the box and the, basically the the in-game shots look like somebody just snapped a picture and stuff like that, and that's because it was pretty hard back then to get a screen grab of a game. But if you wanted to do it uh, in a professional, high-quality way and get really nice screen grabs, uh, so you would either buy like these little Sony you know screen grabbing devices and stuff like that, um, and uh, you would take these pictures and then you're able to create your storyboards or your layouts for this kind of stuff and then you know send it off to print so it wasn't like it is today uh, where you could just digitally take a picture and or create one in Photoshop or whatever so let's just get to it actually so that's pretty cool so this is a uh, basically a screen grab a direct from the art department over at Turbo Technologies which is like I said the parent company the company that took over for NEC um, these are actually pretty cool. First off, we'll uh, start off with the Lords of Thunder ones here. Let's try to get, uh, this guy. they're kind of shiny. They're actually pretty nice quality. If you kind of look at them in the light that you could see like them kind of, they kind of stick out. They're almost 3D-ish, you know, which is kind of cool. First off, we'll, we'll flip it over so you can see here. In the back it has the, uh, name, the they wrote here, that I guess the name of the title that this uh, screen grab was from. And as you can see here, it says Sony Video Print, uh, which is pretty cool. I actually looked up Sony Video Print and this kind of stuff, and these little printers popped up, and they, they're pretty expensive. They still run like over a thousand bucks and stuff like that. So, And this is basically the title screen grab of Lords of Thunder, which is pretty cool. Uh, here we have some more iconic arts uh, from the game as well, from Lords of Thunder, which is pretty badass. Uh, let's see, here's uh, another one here. And we've got another one here. And I mean, you probably can't see them that well, you know, but in person, they look, they're, they're really nice. I mean, they're not just like, 
like cheap scans or anything. They're 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 really really high quality uh, ink and everything. Here we got a uh, boss battle here. Now there there was one that I did not get in this slot, which is the iconic. Uh, I believe it's the uh, Gate of Thunder one uh, that I did not uh, that he decided to keep which is this one here with the snake going up, which you'll see in a lot of Gate of Thunder print ads. Um, and he was kind of, uh, he wanted to keep that one, so I said, fine, you can keep it. <laughs> we did a trade for something to get this, and I had to have these. These are, these are really, really cool. Here we have a Dragon Slayer, which is pretty neat. Uh, this is also a, a character from Dragon Slayer as well, which is a cool little RPG for the uh, duo. There's another one there for you guys. Uh, there's uh, one screen grab of uh, um, Riot Zone, which is uh, pretty cool. And here we got the Gate of Thunder set. So like I said, there's one missing and stuff, but these are really, really cool. I mean, these are, I wish you guys could see them in person, but uh, yeah, they're really, really neat. Um, so that Gate of Thunder in the back. Got another little boss battle there. Uh, here we got another pretty neat one here. This is the Air Zonk set. So we got the, uh, the, the uh, character screen here. Pretty cool. We got a couple of little battles here. Another screen grab there for you. So hopefully, hopefully you guys are, can see these. Really, really neat, these things here. Probably get them professionally. Uh, um, not laminated, but I'll, I'll get something to protect these because I don't know how how uh, sensitive these are. But uh, this one is a Cosmic Fantasy 2. There's another iconic uh, screen grab there. there we are. Pretty, pretty cool. And then uh, last but not least, we have a Shapeshifter. Pretty cool. There we are. And this is the last one. So just thought I'd share those with you. Uh, I know it's nothing super, super crazy, but it's kind of cool to have something from the art department over at TTI, um, you know, um, that, where these came from. I've never seen anything like these before, so um, they're probably discarded back in the day. Um, but it's pretty cool to have these in the collection. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you guys have any uh, Turbo Graphics and you know PC Engine or Duo memorabilia lying around, and you would like to donate it to the show here, or you know trade it uh, or sell it, you know I'm always looking for stuff. So if you have anything, just hit me up. I'll put my contact information below, um, and just feel free to reach out, and maybe we can work something out. And uh, like I said, I'm always looking for new stuff, you know, really rad stuff like this, and. Uh, I'll hopefully do another video in another week or two, showing some other really neat uh, Turbo Graphics stuff. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Until next time, this is Hypic signing out. Take care, guys. Lights.